Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, it's your time to shine. We're going to find out what's going on for you in April 2023 with the tarot. So keep watching. So Aries, please join me on Saturday, April 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time here on my YouTube channel for your special birthday celebration. I would love to see you there. And of course, we wish a very, very special happy birthday to all the Aries out there from your favorite Aries, us too. All right, Aries, let's see what we need to know for you. Overall energetic theme for your month of April, Aries. We have the moon, number 21. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Interesting because we have a new moon solar eclipse on the 20th in your sign. So, and we have the 21 showing up here. So that may be important, but also, I mean, it could be the full moon uh, in Libra on the 6th where you're going to want to pay attention to your intuition. All right. So let's see what you need to know about that. Aries. Aries need to know. Pay attention to your intuition. Move ahead confidently. What do we need to know? We have a ton of cups, the magician, and the knight of swords. Okay, so I think that it is very possible that some sort of fast moving idea comes to you about your own personal happiness. This could be something related to your family. This could be related. I mean, the 10 for me is like just the ultimate personal happiness. So, and the, the manifesting energy is in the middle here. So take action quickly on whatever this intuitive hit is for you related to your personal happiness. All right, it's gonna come in fast, Knight of Swords. Uh, you might need to write it down quickly as well, uh, but this is a communicative energy as well, the Magician. So it may have something to do with um, you know, responding to a text message, responding to an email, talking to somebody on the phone. It could have an element of communication, signing a contract associated with it, something coming in very quickly, uh, an instant manifestation, so to speak. Uh, be, be very, very mindful of, especially the words you're speaking, the words you're choosing in the month ahead. You're, very, you're a very powerful manifester in the month ahead. But this is definitely not waiting around either to take action on your intuitive hit. As it says here, move ahead confidently. So I think that you could manifest for yourself some sort of ultimate dream in the month ahead. You're going to get the you're going to get that intuitive hit, insight, whatever that you're going to be able to respond to that knowledge, to that intuition, to that communication very fast. There's something about speed here that is the key. Okay, with this. So also, I just feel like you know what you want. Your mind is made up. Like, this is not a question for you. What's going to bring you that happiness? Like, you do know. So if you don't know, figure it out now <laughs> before this this rocks and rolls in. The 10th may be important, um, but also it could have something to do with uh, that full moon, which is happening on the 6th. We got the 10th here. So... You know, work with the timings and let's see what manifests for you. I mean, also the 21st, uh, which is that new moon solar eclipse, but then the next day Mercury is, is retrograde. So new moon solar eclipse on the 20th, 21st Mercury is retrograde. So again, if you get that feeling, solar eclipses, yes, their influence sometimes is felt on the day of the eclipse, but it can also be felt a month before, a month after, so you would need to take action if you got that intuitive hit on that day. You would need to take action fairly fast because, as I said, Mercury goes retrograde the next day. So, you know, keep just keep all of that in mind in terms of the timings. All right, let's see what else is going on for you. I do think a beautiful wish, you can manifest it for yourself in the month ahead. All right, let's see. And I would also say, because the magician is coming out, um, it is important for you to wear red in the month ahead, in your in your season. That is your color. 
<laughs> Aries, uh, whether it's red lipstick, red nail polish, or red shirt, whatever, all right, uh, that can help and boost your manifestation powers as well. I'm just feeling, I just wanted to mention that for you. All right, let's see what else. Aries, what else does Aries need to know? All right, let's see what we have. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Strength, the Wheel, wow, Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Okay, I'm just going to read all this holistically. And what do we have on the bottom? We have the Six of Swords. Okay. All right, so again, we have a 10. We have a 10 here. We have a 10 here. I think the 10th is going to be important. April 10th, absolutely. Um, and interestingly enough, that is the day that 10th, 11th, 12th is when Jupiter is conjunct the sun, which is one of the luckiest days of the year. So uh, there really could be something beautiful that's going to be shifting the energy for you around the 10th. It could have something to do with a financial goal, as we see here with the Ten of Pentacles. So we have ultimate happiness with the Ten of Cups, ultimate financial success, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the universe stepping in with the wheel card, Jupiter here, to uh, strengthen your finances, the strength card. This is our Leo. This is our fifth house of love, romance, creativity, the entrepreneur taking risks. So some sort of creative risk that you may have taken recently is about to pay off for you. This could also be some other uh, risk that a calculated risk you took about starting your own business. You may start to see results come in for you that will make you happy and make you keep going. There is this sense of some trouble passing away with the Six of Swords here on the bottom. And I feel it could be some trouble about perhaps, you know, again, your finances that because you're taking inspired action with the magician here and listening to your intuition, you could shift a financial situation very quickly for yourself. Uh, if you've been working on your own business for the last year, you could see this month something that you do really take off. It's very possible, especially take off financially. All right. Over here, we have this two of swords, four of cups. So there is something that you do kind of need to shift your energy around. This is up to you, though. The Two of Swords is, is our own uh, resistance, mental resistance to looking at something. And the Four of Cups, you can see in this deck, you know, she's sitting under her own cloud here. Um, so, and the Four of Cups, like, the, again, the guy who, in the regular tarot sitting under the tree, he doesn't see the opportunity coming in because he's still focused on the past. So there is something here for you, absolutely, to shift your mindset, even with this Knight of Swords over here and the Six of Swords. Shift your mindset and get in the present, Aries, the present moment, the present situation. Yeah, maybe something didn't work out. You're still nursing uh, some disappointment. Okay. All right, but snap out of it. You know, we've had that, we had that theme with the fire signs, actually, in one of my shorts I did about snapping out of it. So make the decision that you're not going to hold yourself back from making the most of April's energies. You get Jupiter in your sign once every 12 years. This is your time to shine. This is your time to go out and manifest what you want and put the past behind you, Six of Swords. Whatever went down over here that your heart may still be having a hard time accepting. All right, it didn't work out. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I think this was a while ago, though. Could be four months ago. I feel it was sometime in 2022. All right, it didn't work out. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, but choose your happiness, right? It wants to come on in. Look at this. Choose this for yourself. All right, use your intuition and move ahead confidently. Snap out of this inertia. I mean, both of these energies are stuck. Two of swords just sitting there. Four of cups just sitting there and not taking action, right? So it is time to align yourself with the wheel, move forward confidently and move towards your heart's desires. That's the other thing with this Leo. 
So I just feel like you're in a very powerful position this month. Like this guy sitting on top of this log, you are in a very powerful position to manifest a very, I think, two important dreams, something to do with personal happiness and something to do with your financial stability. So get to it. <laughs> okay, That's what I feel. Leave it behind. It's the mental. This is the mental situation that's got to shift this and this. You guys just got to make up your mind. I'm leaving that past behind because it has been holding me back from manifesting a better future for me. Okay. So in terms of your intuition, it's a lot about listening to this Leo, listening to your heart's desires and making sure that without a doubt, your heart is absolutely clean and clear and pure with, yes, this is what I want. If there is any little bit of doubt, then that is not the right thing for you either. So that's, that's another thing to think about. All right, with this moon. I mean, I think that you will absolutely feel this joy and this abundance when the right opportunities come in for you. All right, so just know if you're feeling any of this, it's not the right thing. All right, let's see. Let's pull a self-care card and see what else we need to know for you, Aries. This looks to be a very, very positive month. You know, three number tens. I, I really feel like you're simultaneously bringing something to fruition that's going to make you happy while you're also beginning a new cycle where that uh, these two things that come to fruition propel you forward into some new and exciting adventures. So I think this is good. I think this is very, very good. All right, let's see what else we have going on. Aries. We have looked to the stars. Okay, wow. <laughs> we have the stars, we have the moon. So this is about astrology, number 31. Uh, so I think it's it's maybe a good idea, <laughs> maybe a good idea to see how the astrology in April is affecting your natal chart. Maybe get a solar return chart done with me or book a, book a soul session with me or, uh, you know, really set some powerful intentions for yourself at the new moon solar eclipse. That's big astrology that's happening on the 20th. That's a, that's an insanely powerful eclipse of new beginnings at 29 degrees Aries. So look to see where you have that in your chart. Uh, and what, you know, what house is Aries for you in your chart? That is what's going to be in the frame for you from now until January of 2025. Um, as we have these this eclipse happening in that third house, or excuse me, in that house of, of Aries. And then we have, um, it's my third house. That's why I said that, I guess that's why I'm thinking that. And then we have, um, and then we have, of course, the North Node going into Aries. So you're gonna wanna look at your chart and see where that is happening for you because it is gonna be very much about new beginnings for you uh, going forward this year, next year, and January of 2025. So like I was saying, I think this is very interesting because, you know, tens can denote, yes, a situation is coming to, to a happy conclusion, right? With these things, but it's not just like, okay, that's done and then we're done. No, this is going to bring the next level growth for you, new growth and new opportunities for your personal happiness, new growth and new prosperity that will affect your future. So if there's new prosperity coming in that could influence how you grow your business, could influence you buying a new home, could influence how you retire or something like that. Okay, so it's like, this is not the end. This is just the beginning for many Aries people. Okay, with the magician here also. All right, so see what's going on with your personal astrology. All right, and also highly recommend getting my Year Ahead Astrology book. <laughs> that may be helpful also. Link is in the description. I do break it out um, by all the signs and there's profitable and prosperous lucky days in the back of the book for all signs for every month as well. So maybe this is the time also for you to start studying astrology if that has been interesting you as well. Uh, so... <laughs> Let's see, let me know in the comments if that's part of your plan for your personal self-growth, studying astrology, or just getting to know your natal chart better. 
All right, Aries, very powerful month ahead for you. It looks fantastic. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're looking forward to in your special season. I would love to know and make sure you join me for your birthday year ahead reading on April 1st, 7 p.m. Eastern time here on YouTube. I love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.